Hey guys, Steven here back with another video and today I'll be teaching you how to create the text message effect that you see in House of Cards. House of Cards just got cancelled by Netflix and that's a very sad day for everybody. So I thought I'd make this tutorial because I've learned a lot of video editing techniques and tricks from TV shows like House of Cards, Marvel shows, and most notably Sherlock. I just made a tutorial for Stranger Things so I think I'll be making more videos like this. If you do want more videos like this, hit the thumbs up button. So you may see the same effect in different variations in different TV shows like Sherlock like I mentioned before. I think it's a lot better to have it like this like have the conversation on screen because one it looks cooler and two when you have the conversation on a phone and you have a shot of a phone it's a lot more boring and you have to stay there for like 10 seconds. The clip has to be like 10 seconds long for somebody to read the text message. So you may notice in TV shows like Pretty Little Liars this happens a lot where they look at their phone and you're just there for like 10 seconds and then they move on to the next clip. So by doing this you save a lot of time. So the first thing you want to do is have a clip like this where you're holding a phone. The reason you want to do this is because you want to sync up the visual, the animation, and the audio. The audio is very important as well. So if you ever swipe up or a new text message appears, you want that sound effect to be in sync with the animation and the visual. I don't really know any sites for sound effects, but what I'll be using is the YouTube audio library. They don't have the exact sounds I want, but I'll you know be going through them to see which ones are good enough for this um, sort of animation. I might have to use like one of these random ones to fit in for a sound effect that I need but it's free and you know you're allowed to use it so I guess I'll link that in the description so yeah this is actually a very easy tutorial uh, because the text is 2d the shapes are 2d in the TV show Sherlock there are some scenes where it's 2d and there's other scenes where it's 3d and then there's other scenes where there's motion tracking so it's a lot more complex in Sherlock I'll make sure to make a tutorial on that but just for this uh, occasion I'll be making for um, house of cards and I'll be fitting its layout and all that sort of stuff so the first thing we want to do is we want to create a shape. So we want to create the text message bubble or whatever you want to call it. So you want to hold and drag on the pencil and you have more options here. So the rectangle tool and you just want to drag across. So select white as the fill and make the opacity like 25 so you can actually see underneath it. Now what you want to do is create the triangle at the bottom of the rectangle. In House of Cards, it's actually a rounded rectangle. So it, ha it doesn't really have points at the end and it isn't a triangle at the bottom. It's actually kind of like a curve. But with what we have in this editor, we're going to have to just do what we can so so instead of that curvy thing at the bottom we're gonna have to have a triangle so what you want to do here to kind of zoom in so you're more precise is you want to press right here where it says fit go to like around 100 and use the h tool so the hand tool so press h and then you can move around here uh now select the pen tool which is the, uh the shortcut is p and you just want to go at the very bottom right here and just sort of line up so in house of cards it's sort of like this where it's curved but that won't be very exact so i'll just make a triangle so something like that and i'll make this 25 as well actually what what you want to do is you want to select this layer before doing this because you want both shapes to be in the same layer so I'll delete this and I'll be creating it in here you'll know why this is really important later but here you go something like that let's make this 25 there you go there's a small hiccup you can see there's a little bit of an overlap like I don't know how how much that is but it's very small you probably can't even notice it if you zoom out but there you have the triangle for the first one so in house of cards it has the first letter of the first name and then the last name slash slash the time um, at the very top of the bubble it's not actually in the bubble um, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna once again zoom in on here so that we can have a better look at this press H and then we're gonna press on this again you want everything to be in here you want to press on the text tool right here so I'm gonna be using the font Helvectia and you want a light font for this um, portion of the animation so I'll be doing s dot fan slash slash you want this uh, slash slash uh, I'm not sure um, 547 p.m. I don't think this is capital either so we're just gonna do that we're gonna make this a bit smaller so you can either change the font size or change the scale I'll just change the font size over here so you want to highlight this and just lower it and then using this position stuff you can just change the position so there you have it. And now what I'll be doing is I'll be adding the text in the bubble. So this is also going to be Helvectia, but it's going to be the bold version. So you can probably use fonts like Nexa Light and Nexa Bold where it's the same style, but it's just bolder or like thicker. So here I'm going to type in, hey, subscribe to my YouTube channel, right? And then we're going to highlight this and we're going to change the font to a bolder font so here i'm gonna make this a bit bigger actually let's just center it already and make it a bit bigger now we want to center it and actually the rectangle doesn't have to be that you know far down so you can just change it up so just press this and just drag it up something like that maybe make this a bit wider on the side 
and then now move this up and there you have it so there you have the first one and basically now what you want to do is create the animation where it pops in pops out so that's actually really easy so now you can just select on this layer go to effects control panel right here you want to start off by setting keyframe as zero so it starts from zero and then you want to reset it so that it goes back to 100 so you can see here it basically goes from zero to 100 you know drake said that so here right there zero to 100 and you don't want it to be visible in the beginning so what you can do is you can set the opacity right here as zero at the start and set it as 100 at that same point over here and to make it a bit smoother you can highlight the entire thing and then go to auto bezier this will make it a little bit smoother it's a bit smoother right oh, let me just move this so you can see it a bit better so let's press play on here so you want it to be at the perfect time right so uh let's see when i text the first time okay so i swipe up so let's see i'm walking so right now right there so i'm gonna press play right here all right so at this point i would have like sound effects of me typing you can find that on youtube and google whatever you want right and then i stopped texting right there right right at this point so i'm just gonna end it off right there and at the end you want it to fade out but i'll teach you how to do that later but basically you want also a reply so how you add the reply so we, we're finished like the you know the first initial text right how you do the apply is basically let's just duplicate this so hold alt and you know drag up or you can just copy and paste you want the layer to be you know at the top of this layer so that you can see both layers at once just one appears after another so you can see this one appears later you don't want this to be at the same position so we're gonna change the position you probably want it like closer to the right side that and then what you also want is you want that triangle be on the other side so let me go ahead and zoom in on this press h and then select this shape right there so press on this shape and then you just want to move it to the other side so it looks like it's flipped you don't have to move anything else or maybe you might have to move the name uh so we're just gonna Move this to the other side. There we go. And we're just going to change up the name as well. So there we go. Let's press the text tool. And let's say he replied like nine minutes later. And let's say his name was like J Paul, you know, you know what I mean? Um, And so this pops in as well. So basically, if we zoom out here, this pops in right there. So you can see this pops in. And then no. And then this pops in as well. But as you can see, I'm typing while this pops in, which wouldn't be realistic. So after I stop texting, so like at this point right here, the response should come in. So right here, around here. But then this bottom text uh, shape layer should also be underneath here as well because you want to see both messages. So here, so I'm waiting for a response and it comes in right oh i actually should change this as well um so that it's more realistic because you know we're not gonna say the same thing right so he says how about no you know like jake paul mean guy so we're just gonna change this up a bit as well so we're gonna press on this tool right here the se the selection tool and we're just gonna drag it up like we did with the other one and then we're just gonna drag this up as well and maybe move it to more to the middle so it's like that and then now now we have both it's like hey subscribe to my channel and then he's like how about no and then i get really sad actually i stopped texting right here then maybe i should reply back right again like at this point but yeah that would that'd be a really long video so we're just gonna end it off like right here and what we're gonna do is we're gonna fade everything out so basically you can do one of two things you can you know set the keyframes for it to fade out to zero or you can just use like additive dissolve as an effect so go to additive dissolve set it just drag it on so what this will do is just fade out and you want it to fade out like slowly so just do that right here it may fade this out as well but if i had more time with this what i would do is i would add another response because i'm still texting over here but let me just fade out at the same time here right now it's time to add the sound effects so i'm only gonna add the sound effects for the popping in popping out just because we probably don't have the right sound effects for what i want like typing and stuff so i'm gonna go here and there is a pop sound because i did make a tutorial about jake paul and how he does his instagram tags um and there was a pop sound so let me turn up the volume here so there was that right i honestly don't know anybody who actually has that sound effect like on their iphone or something like nobody has that but whatever so we're just gonna drag this on here and basically when this pops up so at this very point where does it pop up so like yeah something like that maybe lower the volume because that's so loud no lower but maybe negative 20 that's a bit late i think that's still a bit late that's too early yeah something like that and then we're gonna duplicate this so alt and drag up to duplicate i hate having to do this like adjust this but let's alt and then drag and then there we have another one and then when jake paul responds which is around this point so like right here you can see the audio waves and where that point is right there 
Yeah, that's basically it. And I actually found some sound effects for the phone, uh, vibrate. I couldn't find one for typing. It is only typing on the computer. So we're actually just gonna press vibrate because who actually puts a ringer on for, you know, their text messages? Nobody does that. So we're gonna drag this on here. And basically when I sit on the chair, I'm just gonna put a ringer sound. So when do I, before I text, before I look like right now, this is when I'm just coming on my chair. Let's make this bigger. Maybe make it a little bit, you know, smaller, no, less loud. Actually, that's too quiet now. Right, let's see. Let's see this master. <laughs> so there you heard it. I get on my phone. Actually, I'm a bit early. So here. Actually, I was typing until this point right here, not down here. So we're going to move it all the way down here. And we're going to also move this as well. So, so at this point was where I actually stopped typing. And then there we go. That's a bit too late. And I can hear that the vibrating is still on. So we're just going to delete it over here. And there we go. And yeah, hopefully you guys enjoy this video. I'll put the preview on right now. And yeah, my name is Steven and I'll see you in the next one.